Is it hard to stand up in this? How about the winds? Because it looks like they're picking up. When I'm closer to the bay front, it is very difficult to stand. Another reason why we moved away. As far as those evacuations that you talked about, did people heed the warning? St. Augustine and all of the county that surrounds it, there are 1,700 people in shelters just in this county and also 300 pets. And actually, this area is the hardest hit area. And I just want to show you how deep this goes. We're in the middle of the parking lot. Very different story in St. Augustine right now. See just how deep it is. After this, we are going to move to higher ground and get shelter. And if you look out further, I want you to see the bay is overflowing here. Excuse me, sir, have you made sure, is, that, are, is anyone in this home? Have you seen if, if they're okay, if they evacuated? Um, they tell me that a law enforcement did tell them to lock their doors to take shelter. This area is blocked off, so parents don't try to come and get your children right now. This is the most movement that we've seen from SWAT so far. It's like SWAT officers are coming out with people from inside of the building. Uh, look behind me right now across the street. This is unfolding. I'm going to get out of the way. Clara, can you see your daughter? Yeah, I see her. You see her? Yeah, I do. Can you describe, because my cameraman's over there, can you describe uh, what you see over there? Thank you so much for speaking with us. We've been speaking with Clara Cruz all morning. Suspect is dead after leading authorities on a high-speed chase following an armed robbery. And a huge ruling for parents who choose to have their kids opt out of the Florida Standards Assessment Test, or FSA. Thousands of people won't ever be able to see or live in their homes again because of the damage left behind. This is such a resilient community, despite the fact that many people lost their homes homes, their neighborhoods covered in hazardous debris. They call them heroes. In New Orleans, Shelby Danielson, First Coast News. There's ongoing racial tension and even bullying. So we spoke with the superintendent and the principal of Fleming Island High School. Team coverage and we begin with First Coast News Shelby Danielson, who has been outside of Hyde's home since this morning. And Shelby, authorities have been digging there in the backyard. That's right, Heather. They've been digging. They've been wheeling carts in and out of the house full of items. We begin tonight with First Coast News Shelby Danielson with the latest on the search for evidence in Jacksonville Beach. Shelby. Well, Heather, they took a brief hiatus overnight with their search efforts here, but of course they're back now. And as we know, they could be here for days. Our Shelby Danielson has been covering this case since it broke this week and joins us now with the latest. Shelby. Well, Ronnie Hyde's home is now FBI free as he remains in jail without bond and on that murder charge. Shelby joins us right now with information you will find only here on First Coast News. Well, a source close to this investigation tells us that this Jack's Beach home owned by Ronnie Hyde is now considered a biohazard. That's something that he's going to have to deal with in jail and try to find someone to bring this property up to code. Today we spoke with a local crime scene analyst about how unsanitary conditions inside of this home can impact the collection of evidence and where that evidence is now. These two scenes are connected between that man who you mentioned through the bicycle and then fired at the officer. A six year old boy was lying on this top bunk right here and you can see a bullet hole. The bullet came in flying just above his head. Several drivers over here. All lanes are now open on the northbound and southbound side of 95 near the university exit. You can see Coast News Shelby Danielson is in Tallahassee with the latest. To put it simply, the majority of the senators inside the state capitol today say it's not enough, and that's why they have filed a complaint. A mix of emotions for families today, many of whom have been coming to this building every day of the three rounds of hearings over the past 16 months. He stole his mother's vehicle after killing her. Police found him just a few hours after that investigation started yesterday afternoon. They said when they found him at a gas station, he was covered in blood on his clothes and on his hands. He was with another woman who is now facing drug related charges, but he said the woman he was with has nothing to do with this murder investigation. Um, at News Shelby, follow her if you can, because she is staying on top of things out there. And really, they said it from the get go yesterday that flooding wasn't going to be the main concern in Lake City. It was going to be wind speed. Yes, we're fine. Shelby Danielson. She has pretty much been all over that place mm -hmm. all morning long, giving us different images, showing us what's going on. You know, when you have to hold on to your hat, the wind 
wind is strong if the suspect that they are seeking is still in that residence where they believe this shooting happened. A 15 year old confessed to this bomb threat. They now have that 15 year old in custody and joining us uh, for an update is the superintendent of Bradford County Schools. Gonna just try some some chocolate covered bacon. Ready? Should we do the thing where it's like, okay. Oh, mm. oh, is this like Lady in the Tramp? I'm going to tell you something. This is taking a weird turn, Shelby. <laughs> um, I OK, I thought I was going to go right, but um, OK, we're going to just park it right there. So these are all part of their training today, and we even have the master notes from the director and these are top secret. I'm just kidding, not really. She's actually over here and she's going to tell us a little bit about it. No broken legs on this river walk. Just make sure you wear your helmet. And look who I found running yeah. along the river walk tonight, Mike Frangley. <laughs> and he has a forecast for all you runners out there. Hey, it's awesome out here. Amazing. Thank you, Lisa. Now stick around, catching up with those women raising awareness about breast cancer coming up. But first, we want you to know plenty of fun events happening around the First Coast. Patty Jacks is joining us live in the studio to tell us the truth.